President Obama signing an executive order allowing many undocumented in, uh, immigrants to remain in the country. Thanks so much for choosing ABC 6 News. I'm Betsy Singer. I'm James Wilcox. This new order would essentially end deportation for about 5 million undocumented immigrants in the United States. That's about half the estimated population in this country illegally. ABC 6 News reporter John Deckard has more on what the change could mean for Southeast Minnesota. Under the terms of President Obama's executive order, an estimated 5 million people could receive legal status and be allowed to remain in the U.S. A common sense middle ground approach. If you meet the criteria, you can come out of the shadows and get right with the law. Under the president's plan, all undocumented immigrants who have been here at least five years and have a child or spouse who's a U.S. resident would be able to apply for permanent legal status as long as they don't have a criminal history. This executive action is, is kind of codifying or, uh, a plan that's already been put in place as far as keeping families united and uh, uh, focusing on the criminal aliens. Dan Donnelly is an immigration attorney in Austin, and he says the plan's impact here won't be as far-reaching as it may have been a few years ago. In this particular community, um, I, I don't think we have the undocumented workers we maybe had four or five, six years ago, um, and, and that's because of enforcement policies. Donnelly, who was actually born in Ireland, says the plan will likely have a bigger effect in places like Texas and California. Yes, there will be people in the community who are going to benefit from this, but uh, I, I don't think we're going to see lines outside of anyone's doors. As expected, Republicans have blasted the president's plan, saying it could even make the current immigration system worse. The action by the president yesterday will only encourage more people to come here illegally and putting their lives at risk. We saw the humanitarian crisis at our border last summer, how horrific it was. Well, next summer, it could be worse. In Austin, John Detcott, ABC 6 News. The president's executive action will not go into effect immediately. It may take up to six months for it all to be implemented, and people will not be able to actually file for permanent status for at least 90 days.